Sables ring, are you listening <laughs> in the land? It is Look at this. Where did all this come from? I went to bed, it was normal, I woke up. It's like a Christmas card. Uh, took me an hour to get out of the farm this morning. We had to knock the farmer up, get him out with a great big digger with a bucket, push it all to one side, all on the road and all that kind of stuff. But we made it out nice and safe. So we're on the uh, A roads and motorways now. Those of you that are on the 25 are probably sitting having a picnic. Uh, but yeah, lovely. Gonna, gonna build a snowman. <laughs> anyway, enough of this. Right, so this one's for Keith Chesterfield. And Keith Chesterfield says, why do they just put the first three initials of the postcode in? Why can't they put the full postcodes? And this is kind of, sometimes it's deliberate, and sometimes it's just the way it works. As Van on the Run pointed out, and I didn't actually know this myself, is sometimes it's to do with their computer system. Their computer system will have the job come up with the first three postcodes, and it will automatically load up, and it will load up with the three. The main reason that I've found that people don't do it is because of poaching. And as we all know, the two things that they really don't like you doing on the CX is co-loading and poaching. Big no-nos, can't do all this kind of thing. And so if you put in a full postcode, like all six digits, then you'll be able, then someone who may not win that job or may not get that job, would be able to narrow that down that job to whereabouts it is. So um, they go, well, okay, there's, uh, if it comes up a lot, well, as a job comes out two or three days a week out of that post, I'm like, I don't live far from there. I'm going to take a drive round. I'm going to stick some flyers through some doors of the six or seven units under that postcode, and maybe I might be able to grab myself a job off of that. So that's one reason why they don't do it. The other one is when it used to load up onto the system, and this is going back to do with the, the BB thing. There was always a fear that because a, a certain other the CX kind of split two ways and it would be us running on the CX as normal owner drivers and then there were firms using it and it was there was a fear that the firms that were using it the big time Charlie firms could get access to the database so they could actually see where the jobs were coming from and then they could canvas them themselves whether that is true or not I don't know but I know that some people Keep it deliberately vague. So they'll give you a rough idea of where you're going from, but not an exact idea. So, you know, we're talking to within like a square mile or half a square mile. That's if the postcodes are correct. And let's face it, lads, they're not always correct, are they really? Um, also, from the point of view, uh, Keith said, because I need to do my research. I need to pull over and I need to... Um, work out where it's coming from and where it's going to and mm, is it a distribution centre and am I going to be in there for a little while well I don't know about you guys but I found when I was driving a van you had to get in quick you'd see that job would ping up the amount of times I've seen a job ping up and by the time I phoned it they'd say it's gone and I'm like how can it be gone it's only just appeared which is why I did the video how to um because I believe that the job started to ping up on the desktop version quicker than they pulled up on the CX app, which is why you end up getting a de desktop version on your phone and then you see the jobs before they do. Whether that is true or not, I don't know. Whether it's still true or not, I don't know. I just know that when I had the desktop version running, I got jobs quicker. I'm on small fleet now and I'm lorries, so it's slightly different for me. But the thing I found is, you know, don't worry if you haven't got the full postcode, get in there. And if it says e-quotes only, ring them. Turn around and go. I'm ever so sorry, but I'm a bit, you know, just need, I want to put a bid in. I just want to clarify a couple of bits. So your postcode says ST5. Is it really ST5 or is it 10? Is it 14? Or, or is, that, is that a JCB job? Is that, a, is that an Amazon job? Is that, a, and they'll go yes or no. And then you're talking to them then. You've got half a chance, aren't you really? So, but yeah. Would it be nice if you had all the, if there was more information when the job come through? Yes, it would. From a shipper's point of view, when you're trying to move a job and you know it's an Amazon, sometimes it's better not to put quite so much information in. So what you want to do is when you put the bid in, or alternatively, put the bid in and stick something in the notes. Go, if it's a distribution centre, my waiting time is this. You don't need to be afraid of distribution centres. You might be waiting for a little while, but if you are, there's a good chance you might get paid for it. Not as good as a second job, but you might get paid for it. But end of the day, it is what it is. You are going to get three letter postcodes going to three letter postcodes. And the longer you do it, the more you'll get used to it. And the more you'll go, ah, 
see that job. Oh, look, there's a job coming up from me. Oh, hang on. No. Ah, burnt me hand. I've done that one before. Won't be making that mistake again. Here's what it is. It's not a perfect system, but it works. And if nothing else, it gets you to places like this. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at that. God packed in snow. So, nearly Christmas, guys. Let's hope you're still out there running. Let's hope you are taking care and taking money. Boof. <laughs>